Anyway, just uh, uh, my point from there. Um, Sean, um, welcome to our show. Uh, what's your question? Um, go ahead, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I'm so humbled to be here. Thank you so much. Jazakallah. And to the, brothers and to the brothers and sisters, uh, Eid Mubarak. Um, I've been a revert now for four years. Alhamdulillah. Um, my wife was studying to be Jehovah's Witness. And then she went into Christianity. All the while, my example is in the home. And she gave her shahada two days ago. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. I, I was in tears for the last two days praying with her. And it's just been so beautiful. But my wife, I'm in Canada. Um, alhamdulillah. My wife is from the Dominican Republic. Alhamdulillah. She's done a very good effort in the last 20 years being a Canadian citizen to learn English and French. However, these are not her mother tongue. I've written to so many places, including... Uh, uh, the, the MAC, the, the Muslim Association of Canada, uh, some of the Spanish uh, um, channels uh, as well for Islam. I've, I'm talking months. I haven't ever gotten a response back from anybody. This is actually the first time in any way. Alhamdulillah, and I know there's a reason for everything, and it's to be with my beautiful brothers in front of me right now to be able to ask this question. Can somebody please, uh, inshallah, direct me to where I can gain a copy of the Quran? in Spanish, and it be a, a transliteration uh, uh, that's accepted, inshallah. JazakAllah khair. Um, Mansoor, if I just come in about that, uh, thank you so much, Sean, for sharing your story. May Allah bless you and your and your missus, and, and we're so happy that you came on the channel and, and you shared that story. Um, you reminded me of a friend who literally, he was dying inside because his wife was Christian, and she also became Muslim, and I remember his reaction and your reaction is very similar. So thank you very much for sharing that story. Um, Alhamdulillah, we have um, a lot of connections all, all across the world, um, and we can send the Quran out to her. Um, so the email was given to you, um, com, and we will send you a, a Spanish Quran, inshallah. We actually have, um, uh, you said she's from the Dominican Republic, we actually have team and uh, staff all over Latin America, and we'll send it out to her straight away. In fact, the translator of the Quran, Isa Garcia, that's the main translation of the Quran. Um, uh, he's based in Colombia. He's one of the brothers that we're in contact with, and, and he will personally send a, a copy from Colombia to her in Dominican Republic, inshallah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This is, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that's, I have. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming to our show, brother. May Allah bless you and may Allah bless your wife and your family. Assalamu yeah, alaikum. And now. For you as well. Salam wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair. Uh, you do not stereotype the entire religion based on that. I think my best advice would be actually to seek knowledge and to seek to understand that particular faith from the true adherence, from the true followers, or the best thing from the scripture. Even In, if there was less, it still would have been a problem. Out of those million, I would say few thousand would be wearing burqa. Yeah. Why was it not a problem then? What's the well, difference then? What's the difference? Huh? Why did wait, wait, why did God have to why did God have to take the form of man if he didn't want to be a man? Oh, uh, there's a copy um, you know the brothers offering you. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, English translation. Uh, uh, what's your wish you the best? Abi. Abi. Nice Abi. Abi. Take care. My name is Mansur. Eh? Mansur. Mansur. He looked up to heaven and he prayed. Exactly. Why does he pray to God when he's God? Uh, a power that needs to be uh, worshiped or submitted to. That's what you believe. Rather than believing in nothing, you'd say, no, in fact, what I've come to believe is that there was a creation, there was a creator, yeah, and that that creator is continually maintaining us. No, no, I said, if there is God and there is a life after death, you're taking a huge gamble by rejecting it.